Insertion sort is an example for decrease and conquer. It is implemented using bottom-up approach non-recursively. Now given these elements 6, 4, 1, 8, 5, you are required to sort these elements in ascending order by applying insertion sort. So 6, when only one element in the array, it will be in the sorted order. Consider this 4, try to place this in appropriate position. For that, compare this 4 with 6, 6 is larger, push towards right, then insert 4 here, then 1, compare with 6, since, since 6 is larger, move towards right, again with 4, so 4 is larger, again move towards right, then place 1 here, then 8 is to be inserted, it is already in the right position. Then finally you are required to insert this 5 in the right place. For that, compare 5 with 8. So 8 is larger. Move 1 position towards right. Again 6. 6 is larger. Again move towards right. Now 5 is compared with five. 4 here. 4 is smaller. So this is the right place. For 5, insert 5 here. Now in order to arrange these elements in the ascending order, here there are 5 elements. Array index starts from 0. So you have inserted remaining 4 elements. So in general, vary i from 1 to n minus 1. This is the element you are inserting for the first time. That is when i equal to 1. That means insertion element is b. b equal to ai. So next you are comparing this b with remaining elements of the array. This I can easily tell with this subarray. That is here you are required to insert 5 in this sorted list how consider this as the ai element that is b b is to be compared with this elements from right to left for that set j equal to i minus 1 b equal to ai so how long you are required to compare this so till you find the element which is less than the element b or another case exists that is whenever j value less than 0 you are required to stop the comparison. So in two cases you are required to stop the comparison when, when j is less than 0 and or, or aj is less than b. So you are required to in other than these two cases, you are required to move the elements of the array towards right. So that means perform while loop, while loop when j is greater than or equal to 0 and aj greater than b. In order to push towards right, aj plus 1 equal to aj and j equal to j minus 1. So finally, when you come off the loop, with the condition either j is less than 0 or aj plus 1 is less than b, you are required to insert b at j plus 1th location. We will see that algorithm. This is the algorithm. Set i equal to 1 to n minus 1. i equal to 1 to n minus 1. b equal to ai then j j equal to i minus 1 then perform while loop while j greater than or equal to 0 and aj greater than b in order to push towards right aj plus 1 equal to aj decrement the j value so finally insert b at j plus 1th location this is all about insertion sort algorithm. 
Now we will see the analysis part of insertion sort. In worst case, when the in input is given in ascending order, worst case occurs. The example given here is 70, 60, 50, 40 like this. So there are 7 elements in the array here. In the first iteration, you are trying to insert 60 at the appropriate position for that you are required to compare 60 with 70 one comparison with that you can insert here then 50 first with 70 so it will move towards right then with with 60 it will move towards here so now here find you are finding a place where you can find you can insert 50 here again 40 in order to insert 40 here so 70 is moved towards right then 60 then 50 then here is the place where you can insert 40 so like this you are required to do six iterations so in the first iteration one comparison in the second it is two comparisons so finally in sixth iteration you are required to do the six comparisons when there are n elements in the array in general, when there are n elements in the array, in the first iteration, one comparison, second, two comparison, and in the final iteration, that is n minus 1th iteration, n minus 1 comparisons is being made. This is sum of natural number up to n minus 1 terms. It's then sum of natural numbers up to n minus 1 terms is equal to n into n minus 1. 1 divided by 2. In this example, it is equal to 21. The same thing is uh, written here, generalized here. So, we will see with the algorithm here. In this algorithm, i is varied from 1 to n minus 1 and j from 0 to i minus 1. So, same thing is written here. In the worst case, i is varied from 1 to n minus 1 and j from 0 to i minus 1 and in each iteration you are performing one comparison. So simplify the inner summation. So with that answer equal to i then substitute i equal to 1 to n minus 1. So summation of this is n into n minus 1 divided by 2. This belong to theta of n square. Now we will see best case analysis. Whenever you give the input in ascending order, then best case occurs. In best case, the number of comparisons is n minus 1. Here is the example. There are 7 elements given to you. So if you want to sort these 7 elements, which is already sorted, Six comparisons is required. Minimum six comparison is required. So in general, if there are n elements in the array, the number of comparisons is equal to n minus one. So obviously, this belong to theta of n. Next. In general, we will see the conclusion part of this insertion sort. So you have seen the complexity of this algorithm is n into n minus 1 divided by 2. This belongs to theta of n square in the first case. In the average case, it is n square by 4. Again, it is in quadratic in best case, number of comparisons is n minus 1. So, in the best case, it is this algorithm belongs to theta of n. So, now we will see space, space efficiency. Space, space efficiency is in place. Why it is called? It is in place because this does not require any extra space. This algorithm is stable because Whenever you arrange the elements of the array in ascending order, if you find two equal keys, they appear in the same position even after the 
after applying the sorting algorithm when you apply the sorting algorithm for an array containing equal elements if you find that equal elements in the same position after sorting also then it is called stable algorithm example merge sort bubble sort and insertion sort so overall this is the best elementary sorting algorithm and this is an example for decrease and conquer what is example for decrease and conquer because look at here uh, look at here if you know the solution for three elements if first four elements is arranged in ascending order then you can easily arrange the five elements that means uh, you already know that in decrease and conquer if you know the solution for n minus 1 elements then you can find the solution for n elements so uh, this is the example for decrease by 1 Thank you.